Alright guys, as an example how things change dramatically in this world that we're working in here. Um, there's a new plug-in from TIG, T-I-G, called Cut and Fill. Uh, I've been back and forth with this guy. He's over in the UK, but we um, I, I had some glitches that wasn't allowing mine to work, and I got it from back and forth and got through with it. What you see in here is I just did a very quick, in here, I did a very quick uh, topo. I just drew some RX, moved them around, moved them up, created, and then used from contours from our sandbox tools and created this solid. All right, he's got a couple of tools up here. One's going to be your cut and fill analysis. One's going to be creating that skirt that I went through all that painstaking effort to create in mine. This does it with just a click of a button. So once you've got that group, um, you just hit this skirt tool and it throws that skirt on there automatically. And now when you click on that thing, it's got the volume. It's an arbitrary volume, but nevertheless, it throws that on there. So over here, I've kind of done it already. Um, I've got two of them on here. I've got proposed and existing. And what I did is by cut off proposed, I took this shape that was here, did what I did in the other tutorials by you know, cutting on the hidden geometry and deleting some stuff. And then I created this proposed one, which basically I just dropped it down and did a big cut section. So that would be obvious that there was a, um, a a cut that's going on there. So, anyways, if I put the two back on, now what you do is you select both those groups. They have to be perfectly overlying, and then you select the cut fill tool. I want it in cubic yards. I don't know what this DPS is yet, but uh, boom. So he's got a cut of 1,358 cubic yards. So not that you couldn't you know do that by taking the two volumes, but anyways. Pretty cool plug-in.